This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the Janitorial Store's 6 CD set, Standard Operating Procedures for Janitorial Companies. You can use the documents in this set to systematize your cleaning company and if you're thinking about qualifying your business for SIMS certification, this program does meet certification requirements and has been approved by an ISSA SIMS certification assessor. I'm Jean Hansen and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. If you're a student of running a successful business like I am, you've certainly heard people talking about creating systems for the different moving parts of your business. So what exactly does that mean, creating a system? Basically, it means writing down a specific procedure for a specific part of your business. Take creating an invoice, for example. You provide a service for your customers, so you need to give them some sort of invoice so they can pay you for the service. For most, that means going into their accounting program to create the invoice, but you have a specific way you want your invoices created and then sent to the client. So if you hire an employee to do this for you, it's your job to train them on how to do it the exact way you want it done. But if you don't write it down the procedures, chances are the employee will make a few mistakes the first few times he or she does it. And worse, if that employee is sick or quits and you don't have the procedures written down, most likely the job is going to fall right back to you. And this is how it typically goes in business until you actually spend the time to write these procedures down for just about everything employees do in your business. This is what we call systematizing your business. Some people also refer to this as creating standard operating procedures for your business. So what I'd like to do today is share with you a system for writing your own standard operating procedure. The first step is to write down what you are trying to accomplish with this procedure. So if the procedure is how to create and send an invoice, the goal might be to set up a system to create and send all client invoices by a certain day of the month. The next step is to write down the procedure step by step in a clear and concise way. Be sure to give enough detail that the employee performing the task can do it correctly. I always found it most helpful to write it down as I was actually doing the task. Don't rely on writing the procedures from memory as you're sure to forget something. After you've written it down, test the procedure yourself. Follow your own instructions to make sure you didn't miss anything and, and to make sure that it's all in the proper order. Make adjustments as needed and keep testing until you're sure it's correct. Next, have an employee follow the procedures you've just written to see if they can complete the task by following your procedures. Ask for feedback on anything that was not clear, hard to understand, or missing. After making more adjustments, write the final version of the system. So that's pretty much it, a simple way to write a standard operating procedure. Now, you want to be sure to keep all written standard operating procedures organized in a binder. Also keep original copies on your computer. Once the procedures are written, you'll need to train your employees. Depending on the system, it may require group training or one-on-one -on -one training. And be sure to answer all the questions they have about the procedure. And one final note, once you've written a standard operating procedure, don't put it away thinking, good, I've done it. I never have to do that again. Because as you know, things change. Software changes, equipment changes, so sometimes procedures need to be updated. The last thing you want to do is train a new employee with old procedures. And my tip for keeping on top of this is to teach the employee responsible for doing the task how to update the procedure themselves. They are the ones performing the job, so they should be involved in updating the systems. And you may be surprised at how happy it makes them to be given that added responsibility for your company. So I hope this has been helpful in getting you started on the road to systematizing your business. That's it for today's show. If you'd like to save yourself hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars in time and money spent creating systems for your business, then be sure to check out the six CD set, Standard Operating Procedures for Janitorial Companies. The link to the program is below the video. 
I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.